Good morning, Tightliners, and welcome back to another session. Um, fishing, I've come down on my own. I'm not here on my own. There are other people here. There are people fishing down on the bottom ledge there. We've got a lad fishing over here, Matty, subscriber, who has very kindly already given me some metal feathers because in my haste to get out this morning, I remember more than halfway here that I'd um, not packed my metal feathers. So I stopped in ABC in Bimaris and they were not open yet. So anyway, I'm out and I'm going to try and catch a big fish. Now then, you may remember a week ago or whatever it was, fishing for rays on and up and over and uh, I got into a tope. Now I'm thinking, up and overs definitely work. Now will they work for tope as well? Now what I've done is the length of the mackerel there up to the, that's a 5 -o black nickel, a 6 -o limitless Avenger extra there. A fillet of mackerel, which is what I had on when I was, uh, when I had that one in the other spot. Can this work? An up and over for the tote. So on this rod I'm going to try it. Uh, and on this one I'm using my limitless universal match. And the pen, mag 525. A 6 ounce lead from Lumi Leads from up the way in Bentleth. And uh, I'm going to give it a go. Glad you've, glad you've tuned in again and let's see what can happen. So I'm going to put two big baits in and I'm going to have a real good go for some mackerel as well. Let's get this bait in the water and uh, let's hope that there could be something big here. Not sure about the tides today because it's now 20 past 10 and the high water is around about 10 past, 20 past 11 never fished it at this stage of the tide before on the bottom. <laughs> let's get this bait in, let's get another one in and let's get some mackerel, hopefully. Not my fuzzy. Guys, so I sent that up and over out there but it did come unclipped in the air. Now I'm wondering whether that's this hundred pound line that I've got coming down to the wire end. On this one I've left it as a single hook. This hundred pound line here is too thick to go into the uh, hangover. So I might have to drop that down to 80 pound or something and maybe give it a little bit longer bite trace. Who knows? Anyway it's out there and it's an experiment. I'll never know unless I try. So uh, I'll get this one sorted. Right, and now the next thing is to try and get some fresh mackerel. Now the mackerel I have, they're not fresh from the sea today. Now they are some that I caught in one of the last videos and uh, they're very fresh to be honest with you. They're still, when they're cut through the middle of it, blood was coming out of it still so I'm fairly hopeful that the bait is suitable but I would love to get some real you know fresh ones real dark red blood oozing out of it let's even get some mackerel no more could no bites as yet guys um, no mackerel either. I've had several attempts there now. I don't know, I've just done about 20, 30 casts. What I have done though, guys, is done this again. Picked up these beer cans, cider cans, chest packets, old line, all just all over the rock. I've said this before, guys, these things were much heavier coming down than 
when you're finished with them. Just put them in a bag and take them with you, please. I know that I'm probably talking to people who would never do this, but if we all keep doing it, guys, if we keep telling people, then we've got a quarter of a chance, possibly, of uh, educating these mindless people. I've done to have a rest there now on the feathers I've put little strips of mackerel on the feathers and sent it out just to see if I can tend to gurnard or just a fish to be honest with you but it would be nice to get a gurnard a grey or a red anyway I'll put this lot in my bucket and I'll take it home and I will dispose of it in the proper way. Rant over, normal footing. Right, let's see if we can find them. But there's some dolphins out there. Just breached there now. There they are. Now, if they're around. There's got to be food around for them, isn't there? Where are they going? I think that's it. Okay, so that was nice, eh? Always nice to see them, isn't it? But anyway, let's see what's happening on the baits. See what damage there is to them. I'm not seeing any activity. Who knows, there could be a dog fish sitting on them. Didn't see no bites, but it is possible. I knew that was going to happen before long. I think I need to drop this down a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. So it's not quite in the wind as much. The wind blew you over again there now, and just like I said there would be, there's a dogfish there. Right, back in all minute. Right, so just as expected, or suspected, dogfish just hanging onto the bait there. Well, I wasn't chumped on it. Um, right, so the situation is, guys, okay, that I've only brought three mackerel with me. I'm seriously desperate to catch some mackerel if I'm going to stay a bit longer. It's now quarter past 11, we are round about high water. Um, it's going to be a very short session if I don't get any mackerel. I've got a sand deal with me, but I know it will happen. There'll just be loads of these. I'll get another bait on there now, bring the other one in to check, get that one back out. And then we'll uh, get back on trying to get some mackerel. No look at the right, guys. Even though that this bait has been frozen, have a look at that. There's still loads of juices, plenty of blood still left in there. So uh, yeah. So on this one, it's another up and over wire, hundred pound hook, uh, yeah, hundred pound to the body. And then there's another hundred pound on the body as well for the a five ounce bloomy lead on the bottom. Now it did fish all right because obviously I got that dog on it. Even though it did unclip in there, but the sec the second time I tried it now, it stayed clipped. And hopefully it will have unclipped when it hit the water. <laughs> right, time to check the bait on the other one now. Undoubtedly there might be a dogfish on there too.
front does have a stiff and will pull the and the dome to the That one's come back pretty much untouched. Right, fresh baits out. Like I said, after these now, oh, I've only got one more mackerel. The wind is due to pick up. It is picking up now, but it's due to pick up something silly later on. So it's not going to be out all day anyway. This wind is going to make things very difficult. I think wherever you go. Let's try this one then. Single hook. Low kettle. This one is an A2 Avenger. Hopefully it'll stay inside this rotor clip now. Let me know what you think guys, whether these up and overs would work for a tow. The one I did get and they got away, that was on an up and over. But obviously it wasn't beefed up like this. Be interesting to know what your thoughts are on this sort of setup guys. As you all know, I do love a nip and over. Maybe it's took out the scene then. Right, let's get back on the macro. Gotta be one or two out there. The water is starting to pick up now as well. It's gonna be pretty flush. Flat calm when I arrive. But now it's got a bit of a bit of a spell on. There's also heavy rain forecasted for later on today as well. Don't particularly want to be caught out in this. Right, let's get back on the mackerel. No mackerel. Right, guys, the mackerel situation is desperate. Absolutely zero mackerel here. Um, everyone's had a go and no one's catching anything. So what I've done now is I've put a Portsmouth loop rig out. Size 8 hooks, tiny bits of mackerel, tiny bits of sand eel. Is it possible that I can get something like a weaver? Or even whiting as bait? Good. Like I said earlier, I've had, I've only got one more mackerel. It's promising heavy rain around about two o'clock. It's now midday, ish, just after midday. I'm not standing out in the rain. Now let's see what comes from that scratching rig. I think I'll have a little bit of food, a bit of water, while I'm waiting. Right guys, so the last of the mackerel baits has just gone out. I do believe that I might have a bite on the uh, scratching rig, but I do believe it could probably just be a dogfish.
fish on. Way too heavy for it to be a weaver. Second boat for the session. Not what we want to see. Not even on the chassis. Small strip of mass will in the corner of the mouth. However, just to get out. Right, let's get this unhooked with the discorcher. It's perfectly in the corner but it's just hard to get out. No look at it. Right guys, look at the size on that. A little pollock. Right out there. Unbelievable. And the worst thing is, I saw the bite. <laughs> it's even too small to put out as bait. It's dead now as well. If it was live, then I might put it under the float, but no point. Right, let's try one more. No one can look at it. Right, so. I've put the last baits in on the scratching rig now. Um, I'm going to bring in the big bait, pack that away, um, and then obviously pack everything else away. Get on my way, I need to stop in ABC on the way home. I am supposed to be going wreck fishing on Saturday, weather dependent of course, and I just want to go there and pick up a few bits for that. Um, because I know that Winnie doesn't have it. So that's the plan now. We'll decide when we get close, well, later on, whether I go with a lure rod into the streets. Right guys, last cast fish. A little whiting. Again, too small for bait. So uh, I'll get this one back. Not sure, it'll probably end up as seagull bait. Anyway, that is it for here. I will make a decision whether I'm going to go out somewhere else in a bit. But if I do, it will be with lures, because I have no bait left. Disappointing session. Couldn't find a bait fish, and if there's no bait fish, there's very unlikely that to be any predator fish there as well. So, just a couple of dogs, a little pollock, a little whiting. Got some fish, so it's in blank. But uh, nothing to write home about. Where have all the mackerel gone? Of all the times where I used to come here when I was a kid, there was pretty much guaranteed mackerel. What's happened, guys? Right, let's put this rig away, put this other rod away, and let's make a walk back to the car.
So until next time, keep your lines tight. Good evening Tightliners and welcome back to the second instalment of this video. Um, I'm here with Gareth as you might have seen in the uh, little pan around there now and uh, we are on some very popular rocks not far from Hollyhead. Second choice venue really we were hoping to get onto the beach um, on the other side over there. But we got to the beach and we could hardly stand there, it's actually blowing a hoolie. Um, so anyway, change of plan, we come over here. It's just good to get out with Gareth and have a good catch up again. It's been way too long before since he's been out again. And uh, we'll catch up and we'll have a good thing with lads. I have forgotten my uh, camera lights tonight, so I'm going to try and improvise as much as I can with another head torch that I've strapped to the underneath the camera. I hope that will work and it's not going to be too bright. And uh, yeah, so I start this video, guys, on 39 species. I know what you're saying. Wait, hang on. Where did 39 come from? You were on 38 last time. Well, today I spent an hour and a bit on the dock in Hollyhead and I managed to get myself a grey gurnard and I'll show you that picture now. So, I'm level with K. Am I likely to get anything here that will take me above him? No, I don't think so. Um, fish that I've had here in the past, of course, is rays, pus, hounds, few flatties waiting so what I've done already two baits are in the water I've got a whole squid on one up and over and I've got some hermit crab on another one now then I'm waiting for the mackerel to defrost I had to go home to get some mackerel because in the first venue I didn't take any didn't think I needed it and um, yeah, so I'm letting it defrost a little bit. Light feeding. I've got some nice ragworm as well. I'm going to put a scratching rig out in a minute on the, on the third rod. And let's see what we can get out. I'm sure we'll get Gareth on the camera in a bit. But let's see what happens. I saw sort of both. We thought it could go. Right guys, time for the first bait check. I think I've seen a little bite. This is not going to be easy with the lighting tonight, guys. I'm afraid. I'm sorry about that. Okay.
three months back, better. Yeah. Three months, too. There we have it. A little thorn back. Only a small one, but still, it is one of the targets for tonight. And that was on a whole squid. And it's caught beautifully in the lip with a circle hook. The lighting is absolutely pants tonight, guys. Don't know if that makes any difference. It just blinds me, if anything. Uh, there we go. First fish. Let's get this released and then not hostile with Hera, you'll die if you dog. Right, guys, the conditions are getting more autumnal than they should be at the moment. This is horrible, fine rain in the air now as well. The wind is getting up. Gareth just had a dogfish. Didn't show that on camera. I'm not going to show any dogfish on camera, hopefully, either. If I can help it. Um, anyway, I'm going to bring in the one that I sent the hermit crab out. I'm going to send the, a slab of mackerel out on there. Right, check a bait. Not much of right. right, guys. Double shot of fish there now. Poxy dog fish. Have a look at that, guys, for a small, smooth hound. Probably the smallest one I've ever, ever seen. Anyway, I'm going to have to do a retreat up there now. My rods are in the water. And away it goes. Come on, boy. Off you go. There we go. Right guys, I'm, I apologise about the light situation tonight. Error on my part, not bringing the light. No more dig. Right. Second little ray of the session. Only small, but still target species for the evening anyway. Beautiful in miniature. Loads and loads of spines on the tail. Just what you want. I've got a, the only thing is that I have got two wet feet now on the retreat there now. The rock that I was on has been completely surrounded. So anyway, let's get this little fish back and let's see if there's another one out there. No more dig. Right guys, so I've had two rays and now I said he was hurt back with he is with us. Did he bounce on anything? There he is, and Gareth's got his first ray. There we are. Nice little thorn back for Gareth as well. Nice to have you back on the channel, my friend. Oh, socks and arras. Right, I need to move from here now as well. No Right, guys, the conditions are rough, to say the least. Um, on the last one I brought in, then on the squid be on the panel, two dogs and now on the scratching rig, little white thing like this. I had a ton of those in the dock earlier this afternoon. Um, seven different species I had there again um, this afternoon, including black gopi, rock gopi, pouting, whiting, um, grey gurnard, which was the one I had to go on the list. What else did I get? I know the Pollock, yeah, there were seven species in all. I didn't film there this afternoon because I thought it'd be very similar to the last one. Norma Hudig. Like tonight was meant to be a beach session. Norma Hudig. Right, guys, last baits are in the water. I've got a loop rig with ragworm on, and I've got a whole squid again. Now, the squid has just been bringing me dogfish. I must have had about four or five dogfish now. In the last four or five casts. Um, don't know what happened to the rays. Started well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy what you've seen. I know it's been not as good this time without the camera light and all that kind of thing. Um, conditions being pretty rough. To be able to get you some very good footage. Um, it is what it is. Um, and if I don't get anything on these now, I'll speak to you again 
when I get back to the car or back to the house. Mama could do. Right guys, the end of another session. A turf session, Gareth. Challenging session. Yeah, challenging. But we got the target species. Gareth got his thorn back that he has got. First one this year? Yeah. Yeah. This year. So, uh, hang on, what's going on there with the light? There we are. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was challenging. Wind got up even stronger. We came to our, well, it was a second choice venue, really. We went down to the beach, um, a very popular storm beach, and, well, basically, we couldn't stand there, really. If we were to try to put the rods on, they would have been on the floor, reels being covered in sand, and uh, there might have been a few choice words said more than once. <laughs> anyway, we got in amongst the fish again tonight. I hope you enjoyed what you see. And I've got water on the lens. New style! Hang on, could have done it. Right. Yeah. Next session, not sure what it's going to be um, tomorrow or even later on now. It's Catherine and I's anniversary, 26 years together. No, not together, married. Um, Happy anniversary. Thank you, girl. <laughs> anyway, guys. So I don't know what the next session's going to be. I'll try and get out again tomorrow. Um, try and get out possibly Saturday morning, dep weather dependent. Next Tuesday, I know I have a wrecking trip, so I'm looking forward to that one again, weather permitting. So until the next session, guys, keep your lines tight. We'll know.